Hi guys, this is Mark with Last Humans Tech. What I wanted to do today is show you a very simple use of the awk command, AWK. This can be a very advanced tool here, but I want to show you a very simple way to use it and the most basic way to use it. Um, so, for example, let's just look at this passwd file for a minute before we get started. And what I want you to notice about this file is that, of course, it has many different columns. And each of those columns are separated by a colon. And that could be a tab separation in some types of files. But I wanted you to note that specifically before we get started. So I have a directory on here called scripts. There's nothing in it. And I would like to create a script here. And we're going to use the awk command for it. So I'm just going to call it script1, right? And we're using the VI text editor, which will bring up your editor immediately and let you start building this file. Now the very first line that you have in most of your scripts is going to be reference to your shell location. And let's go ahead and say what we want to do here is grab a certain column out of that passwd file, okay? So the first thing I want to do, I want to make a backup of that file because to be safe, we do not want to be messing or doing anything to the actual passwd file. It is very critical to the system. So the first command here you're going to see, we're going to copy that file into temp, just a temporary place to hold it. So we're going to have a copy in there. Next we're going to cat, remember cat will show you the contents of a file. So we're going to look at the contents of that file and we're going to pipe it. Remember pipe is going to take the output of the last command and funnel it into the input of the next command you use. So we are now bringing in this op command, right, that we talked about. And one of the most common options for the op command is the capital F. This is a field designator. And see, the awk is going to find a certain search within a file for you. And the field means what is the column separated by. And what we saw in the past WD file, it is separated by colons. So you do not want a space here. And you're going to put right there. The field separator we're looking for is colon. Now we're going to put a space here. You don't need to put a space here. And we're going to tell it what we want out of that file as it searches. So what we are telling it here is that we want to take the first column. And that is the $1 variable. And that says the first column when taking into account the separators of the colon that we also referred to there. And we want to send that to a file in temp again. This is just a temp situation. And we're going to call it user list. So let's think about that here. Um, we're going to view the passwd file in temp, which should have all the usernames. The awk command is going to know that the fields are all separated. The columns is another word. The columns are all separated by colon. And we're telling it to print the first column only and send that with the redirection, which is the right arrow there, send those results into a file. And it's going to put all the results into a file called user list. So finally, we'll do a sleep five here, which will make it rest for about five seconds for no apparent reason. Just showing you the sleep command is when you want a pause in your system too. And to finish up the script, we'll go ahead and we're going to view that user list file. So that's going to output, output the results on the screen. So we want to see if we can grab just the usernames, which is the column one, send them to that file, and then print that file right on our screen. And that is all we need to do on that particular script. I'm going to save this. We're going to use the clear command to clear the screen. We are now going to look at that script one. Now we have a problem here, right? You have to execute a script. 
This script does not have executable permissions. This is a root-owned script, but sometimes you may have a particular user and you would have to have execution for them. Since this is root, we'll just do like a chmod plus x script1 and let's look at the permissions again. Remember the chmod u plus x equals chmod change the permissions for the user and add executable plus x x for executable and you can see here now the first column of the permissions which is the user slash owner does have executable permissions we are now going to clear this and to run this script it's right here you're going to go dot say in the current directory you want to run this file let's see if this works and let's see if it gives us the contents the users of the past wd file pausing for five seconds and there we go it looks like it was successful so to have one more look at the script here you can use for the print section any column you want you call it dollar one two three four five and you have of course user user directories in this file user home directories you have group IDs, user IDs, shells, and you can choose any of those columns and pull them out of that file when you're looking for certain information on your box. And that is a very simple use of the AWK command. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.